Hey everyone, it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. I've got more to show you. I believe I've gotten all of, all of my yarn hauls out of the way. I do have a Hobie at the office. Excuse my messy hair. Um, but I want to show you all my whips. This video is, I'm going to show you my whips, all my work in progress. That's my crochet and my knitting. So, all right. The first thing that I want to go over is my Nan's Next Knots. And um, it is the crochet along. I will link, I'm gonna link all the uh, crochet alongs in my description. I love this crochet along. I love the yarn I used. I used, I love this yarn. Now, I had mentioned in a video a little while ago that I was, I could not do 52 weeks of this because it would be just enormous. But these are all the colors and I've done, I believe, 17 weeks. This was the last color. That was this week's. No, last week's. This week's, which today's Thursday, I haven't watched Nan's video, but I'm going to start, I'm going to make the campfire um, boho. It's just like this. It's by Lynette Charm Grammy. She has a crochet along. It's her campfire poncho, and it's this pattern, but it just, it goes on each side. It has a hole, and it's got some pockets, and so that's what I'm going to, I'm going to pick out, I'm going to number all the yarn and I'm going to, you know, continue Nan's next Knots crochet along, but it's going to be in a poncho and it's going to be um, Charm Grammy's poncho, her campfire poncho. And she has a tutorial over there and I'm going to try to link that video too. And I need to write all this down. I think I already did. Yes, I did. So I'm gonna I'm gonna link Nan's crochet along for this. Isn't that beautiful? I used all the yarn that I used was Hobby Lobby, um, except the white. The white, I believe, I was using Premier, and today I had to use Big Twist because I ran out of the white Premier. But all this yarn is Hobby Lobby. The color. Oh gosh, number seven is, oh, you know what, it's all right here. I've got turquoise from Hobby Lobby, a cypress, it's like a cypress teal splash, deep sea diving, sea blue, peacock, make noise for turquoise, and a gray and premier just yarn. But these are all the colors. These are all the colors I used and the poncho, I'm going to start some different colors because I can't make this any longer. It's, it's long enough and I love it unless I wanted to make another one. And I thought instead of making another one, let's use up some yarn that I haven't, that I bought a long time ago. Um, the yarn that I bought was premier ever soft. And I've got the lavender. I gotta pick eight colors, right? Lavender, um, blueberry, very pretty. I got, that's not the yarn. This is big twist yarn. Let's see, I might have to use some of the big twist, but let's see what I've got of the ever. This is so beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Premier, and the color is Rose Pola Venita Dusty Rose. And then my favorite green, it's probably called Lime. Lime Green. Oops, what happened here? I don't know. But, and then this is beautiful. 
Look at this color. It's aqua. Isn't that beautiful? So we got one, two, three, with four, five. Five. I guess we're gonna use big twist. Six. Se uh, Yarn B Secret Sauce, six, seven. I don't know. I might use this hot pink big twist. And it is magenta. I don't know what I was making with this, but I was doing, it was like an amigurumi. I was trying to make something. I don't know, but I'll frog that. And so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. And I think I'm going to use a gray for the contrast color for number eight. Or no. No, I gotta pick eight and then eight. So I'll do this lavender and it's yarn B. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll use I have white in the ever soft, so that'll be my contrast white. But I think I'm going to do a gray. and I'm going to take one of these colors out and do a gray. I happen to like gray. Hmm. If you knew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I might take this one out because I have got this one. So, yeah. So I'll take that one out. And we'll put in the gray, and then I'll use the white as contrast. Okay, so I'm going to number all of these, one through eight, and I'm going to start my campfire poncho to, to complete Nan's next knots. I have three other colors. You know what? Let's see. Three, four, five, six, wait. Three, six, seven, eight. Oh, I think I might get rid of. Maybe I will get rid of the gray. I don't know. I love all these colors. Maybe I'll get rid of this. It's so hard to pick. Or maybe I'll keep more of the blues. Yeah, I'll keep more of the blues. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> There's so many choices. But I'll number them and figure it out. Okay. I wasted eight minutes on that. Okay, so that's going to be a new whip. Because I finished. That's a finished object. So I got one finished object. Woo! -hoo! All right. And then with uh, Dina, Homespun Fun, we got Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. And we have... Um, Oh my God, V. Oh, I can't think of her channel. You all know V, hold on. Okay, it's Zelda and RJ3. I can only remember the RJ3. So anyways, so it's Rose, Rose likes car crochet, and then Zelda and RJ3, and then Dina. We're all doing a temperature blanket together. And at first I was doing this temperature blanket and I wasn't crazy about the colors, but then I stood up in front of the mirror and it looked so pretty. But when you're looking at it, like, oh, I'm sorry, did I step on you? Stepped on Zeus. Looking at it close, it didn't look all that pretty, you know, like that. But then when you kind of, Stand back and look at the pattern it made. It's kind of cool. So, I've definitely, it's grown on me. And I love, 
I just love it. I love it. But also, what I've been doing, I'm, I think I'm caught up. No, I'm too, I think I'm two weeks behind on this. I think. But anyways, it's because I've been doing something else. Dina did the lower temperature blanket, and I wanted to do it too, and I used a contrast yarn with it, okay? So these are, I just started, and what I'm doing is two rows of the lows that day, and then a gray, and then two rows of the lows, and then a gray, and look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is sky blue. Um, Joanne's this is Joanne's yarn. Why am I drawing a blank? I just had it in my hand. No, that's Hobby Lobby. Here it is. It's Big Twist. I couldn't think of it. But anyways, all of this is Big Twist. And it's aqua and sky blue and gray. Is that not pretty? Look at it from far away. I held it up in front of the mirror across the room, and I'm like, oh, my God, that's gorgeous. So if you're working on something and you're, like, not feeling it, hold it up in front of a mirror because this pattern and the other one is a lot prettier in the mirror. So just some insight there. But yeah, so I'm very behind on this, but I'm getting caught up on it. I'm really feeling it now. This one, I'm two weeks behind because I've been working on this. And the reason I'm so far behind on everything is because I'm knitting now. So let me show you, before I show you my knitting, I've also been working on this Red Velvet Rose by Expression Fiber Arts. And the yarn I've been using is Malabrigo. And I don't, I don't have the tag to tell you what color. And I don't know where the other skeins are right off the top of my head. I've been cleaning my room. I always hide things from me. But I don't know if I've gotten this far the last time I showed you. But I'm working on this row. But it's getting there. I've just been working on other things. That's why I haven't gotten a whole lot done. But this is a copycat. Mad Mimi and um, Yarn Attic, the Yarn Attic, Karen. Um, she picked a pattern for Mad Mimi, and then everybody is doing a copycat, and this is mine. And there's no time limit, thank you, Jesus, because I don't do well <laughs> on time limits. I'm always behind, but I'm having fun working on that. It's crochet, and I believe I'm using a number six and a half. Oh no. I got it written down somewhere. So then, let's see. Okay. And then, I don't know if y'all have seen this. It is Cinnamon Stitches. It's her tank top, but I'm doing it, I'm doing a different stitch. I'm doing the um, herringbone stitch. But this is like her pattern so I'm kind of winging it but yeah that is that tutorial that I've never gotten to y'all I will one day I'm just I'm just not there um then what other whip I know I got more whips oh okay I don't know I don't think I've done a whole lot on this. The Killer Shaw, I think I did two rows while I was on vacation. It's growing. I'm in no hurry. And then, that's Bag of Day. The Killer Queen Shaw, I need to write that down, make sure I mention that. Killer Queen Shaw, and then Mad Mimi copycat. And then, let's see. Okay. All right. Whoops. 
I'm all hung up. There it is. Okay. Now, how did you get all tangled up? You roll everything up and it still gets all tangled up. Okay. So. That's the Killer Queen Shaw. We can put that aside. I can put... Mad Mimi, the copycat Shaw by Shandy Fiber Expression Arts. I need to not only Mad Mimi, but Karen, the yarn addict. All right, and then let's see. Okay, y'all. I was going to make. this blanket. It's too long. And I don't know how to shorten it because it's mosaic. But somebody pointed out to me how long it's going to be. And it's true. It's going to be forever long. So I need to reevaluate that. Um, I had it earlier and I don't know where I put it. I put a bunch of stuff in that basket over there. Those are kind of UFOs for Rottler. I don't want to bring them out tonight. But I do want to show you, I did get this magazine and I subscribed to it. I tried to start this and I'm struggling. So I decided I was going to do another pattern in here. This one. And I've got it almost done. The yarn that I'm using is Joanne's um, brand the K KC Pearl Yarn. And it's 70% Lyocell and 30% Viscous. It's very nice yarn. It's 240 yards. It's kind of pricey. It was like $7.99. I, I don't know. But I think I got it on sale. But I've been working with the new Hobby Hooks. I like these hooks. Some of them are really nice, but some of them, it has a flaw. There's a gap. Do you see that gap right there? If your yarn's small, it'll get caught on it if you work real close to the shaft. So I don't know how I'm going to fix that, but I already broke one trying to push it in. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I may just send these to some of these girls that um, they make the bottoms of hooks. And maybe they can make me a better handle. I don't know. It's only two bucks. I love this. This is a flaw, though, on some of them, not all of them. So I broke out this to finish this. So I want to show you. I've just got one panel to go. It actually wanted me to do the back in two panels. I'm like, no. So I made one big wide panel. Let's see you guys. I got dogs everywhere. But that's the back. Isn't that pretty? And then here's the front panel. I've got it all clipped together. This is one side. And then I just got to do this side. But isn't that beautiful? Look at the stitch. Isn't that beautiful? I love this part. Isn't that beautiful? The entire pattern. It's very easy. It worked up pretty quick. This I did on vacation. This is what I did while I was on vacation, other than my, my sweater. So, but this is in the magazine. I've beat this book up. It's called Fair Winds Duster. And it's in crochet. Crochet exclamation point. So, anyways, there's 21 designs in this book. And I fell in love with the front, but I got a little confused on that. So, I started it several times, and I'm just like, eh. I don't think I have the right yarn yet. I haven't found the right yarn. So, um, but yeah, this is... The summer cardi that I'm working on. And it's beautiful. I love this. 
um, I was inspired by Jennifer Cinnamon Stitches. She, um, she was um, using this yarn and um, there was another brand she was using that was similar, that was in the same bin. But uh, yeah, this, I just love the way this feels. It's so squishy. So, all right, you guys ready for my knitting? I'm so proud of myself. Now, I had to frog this several times, but this is, okay. Let me show you the pattern first. All right, Nancy, you had your act together. Where is everything? Start moving things around. Okay. This is the free pattern on your inspirations. Okay, that's the front. It works in the front panel and the back panel. This is the back panel. They're identical panels. And I've done great till I got here. <laughs> I'd find a hole down here when I'm up here and I'd have to frog it and then find another hole over here and have to frog it. I'm a beginner, so I mean, I'm, I'm just going to take it easy, but we're in 12 minutes now. Okay, you ready? I've only got one side kind of done, but I'm very proud of this, you guys. Check it out. So proud of myself. It's gonna be a, like a quarter sleeve long, but all I gotta do is the second panel, and it's wide enough. Isn't that pretty? And the yarn that I'm using now, this is gonna be for the winter. The yarn that I'm using is Gray Confetti by Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Isn't that pretty? It turned out so beautiful. Well, it's not done yet. So, but anyways, I'm so excited. The only thing I'm worried about is um, the ends. I don't know what I can do. They don't have where the ends are. Like, can I? I'm going to try to make the end like this, but a small, you know, just a small ribbing at the end. I'm going to try because I don't like the way this looks. Or maybe somebody could suggest what I can put on the end, okay, for a beginning knitter. But I'm so proud of this, y'all. I can't believe it. <laughs> ah, now I gotta do a whole other panel, but I've enjoyed this. I'm just slow as heck. Yep, yep, so. I had to take three videos to finally get to this. So, but th I've been working on this and it's put me behind on my crochet severely but but I finally you know everything's finally clicking oh what am I caught on but yeah this is the yarn it's gray confetti by Hobby Lobby it's much prettier in the daylight it has like a blue tint to it when you're outside but yeah I've always wanted to have something that I've made with this stitch finally getting there I'm so excited. So, I want to thank Linda Simpson. She's taught me a lot. And um, Shandy with Expression Fiber Arts. I've learned quite a bit from her, too. And I've made two hats. I want to make socks. And I've got the knitting needles to start. I've got the yarn. I haven't cast it on. Getting a little nervous. I don't know. The next thing I want to make once I finish this is this. Marley Bird's got another sweater. This one is my first knitted sweater. This one's got the ribbing on all the sleeves. So I may make it a three quarter sleeve. I don't know, but mm -hmm. yep. Um, that's a goal. And then I think that's about it. I think that's all I have to show you guys, but it's been quite, yeah, I think that's it for now. I have some other unfinished objects up <laughs> there that I need to work on, but it's, this knitting has captured me, so, okay, that's it. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget, you guys need to go, um over to my giveaway and enter, 
okay? It's a good giveaway. It's, it's, it's a big thank you for all my supporters, my subscribers. Yes, you get to pick your own yarn. So get over there. Love y'all.